So today I'm gonna to talk about the one sentence this girl recently told me to basically make me drop her, all right? Let's go. So I started dating this girl, right? You know, I'm taking her out to eat, you know, you know, doing all the things, you know, you do in your little honeymoon stage, you know, having fun, you know, painting the town, picking the rug, we're just, just, just doing whatever. And so one night, I started thinking like, man, maybe I should let my guard down, like really like just get, you know, like really go for it, you know what I'm saying? But I wanted to make sure she wasn't talking to any dudes first, right? Um, so I asked her, I called her, and this is what she said. I said, I said, are you talking to anybody right now? Are you talking to other dudes? And she said, nah. And then I said, okay, well, when's the last time you hung out with a dude? And then there was a pause. And she said, if you want me to be honest? And I said, always. See, when a girl asks you that, you say, always. Just like that. <laughs> and she said, um, I hung out with my ex two days after we last hung out. And I said, what makes you think that was okay? <laughs> and she said, oh my God, are you gonna have a problem with this? Like, are you insecure? Like, um, all my, like, other guys I've talked to have the same problem. Like, I'm not gonna stop hanging out with my boyfriend, I mean, with my ex-boyfriend. And I said, hmm. I said, if me and you were to start dating, boyfriend and girlfriend, you would keep hanging out with your ex? She said, yes. And this is what I did. I said, boom, and hung up the phone, right? Because this is the thing, guys. When a woman has an imprint, and that's what that is. It's an imprint. It's a guy that she'll hang out with, whether she's married. It's a, it's a past lover that she'll hang out with against her boyfriend's wishes. And I've imprinted two women. I know two women like this that'll just hang out with me regardless, just because I made that much of a sexual impact in her life or a lover impact. But, you know, when you find a girl with an imprint, run, bro. Because this is the thing. If I would if I would have kept talking to her, right, and spent th thousands of dollars with her and, you know, two years of my time with her and, you know, fell in love with her. The first time we argue, she goes to hang out with her ex and they fuck. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> We can't have that, bro. And this is the thing. When they cheat with their imprint, they're way less ashamed than if they just cheat at the club. They won't even tell you. It'll be harder to actually see that they cheated. <laughs> so no, bro. The number one sentence that made me drop her is she'll never stop talking to her ex. It's simple, guys. You guys got to understand the game. It happens to the best of us. You know, the crazy thing about this story is Women would do the same thing to us if we are talking to other girls. They'll get the same thing. They'll feel the same way we feel. They would have something to say about any and everything that we're doing if we're hanging around another female. And their excuse is, I know how other females are. Or I know how women act. I don't trust them. Well, how do you think a man feels? We know that a lot of guys are just waiting for you to to, 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 to let your guard down and go run it and come run on over there to, you know, let them bang those cheeks. We know. And like he said, he, he know because he was in that position where his ex or some friends or female friends, whatever, they would go argue with their man and then come to him and then they fucking. I'm going to be honest, it was like that with me a couple of times before in the past. You see what I'm saying? So, I know exactly what he is saying. Now, I, I wanna, I'm going to leave a link to this video in the comments. I want y'all to check out some of the comments from this video. One guy left a comment that oh, I could not agree with more. I want million, trillion, billion, billion. I know it ain't no number, but y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> I I 100% agree with this guy's comment. He said, whenever you buy a new house, make sure the previous owner do not have a key. Oh my God! If that ain't the best statement that that can be that can be said in this situation, mm, mm, mm. then you go and read the comments. That's a lot of women. Defending the woman he's talking about. 
Oh, he just insecure. There ain't nothing wrong with her hanging out with her ex-boyfriend. But y'all know goddamn well y'all women would be would, would have would shit on y'all selves if y'all man was hanging out with his ex-wife, his ex-girlfriend, all that. If he's over there all the time and you know, with her. Y'all would shit on y'all selves. And don't sit here and say y'all wouldn't have a problem with it. Whether something's going on or not, y'all would have that in y'all head that something is. So how do you think he's supposed to feel? Oh, he's just supposed to let it go. See, he's smart. This guy was smart. He said, oh, I see what's going on. Excuse me, I see what's going on here. Click, he hung up. That's exactly what I would have done. If I would have thought to ask that question, I would say, bye. I don't have time for it. Women love to tell us that they don't play games. Bullshit. That's all they do is play games. That's all they do. They interested in you, but they won't make the first move. They try to give you hints for you to make the first move. That's playing games. If you want that man, go say something to him. They want sex. Uh, uh, they ain't going to make the first move. They're going to put on some sexy lingerie. They're going to rub all up against you. They ain't going to say nothing. They want you to make the first move so, they, so it could be all you just in case. Uh, 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 anything. They love to play games. That's what they do. Uh, especially when they talk about... Uh, 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 they don't know what they want to eat, but then you start naming off some places. Now nah, I don't want to go there. Now nah, I don't like that. Now nah, I don't want to go there. Just fucking tell me what's up. I ain't got time for the mind games. Another reason why I thank God I have the wife that I have. She don't play that shit. She say what's on her mind. Thank God. <laughs> anyway, anyway. See, this is why I always said, fellas, Pay attention to the words that come out of this woman's mouth when you first meet her. I said that a gazillion times, and I'm going to say it again. Do not get too serious within the first five years of meeting this person. What I mean by that is, fellas, don't spend no serious money. Yeah, you might take her on some dates here and there, you know what I'm saying? Don't get too expensive with the dates, though. You know, you might take her on a date here and there. Y'all go to the movies, go out to eat, whatever. Okay. Ladies, don't have a baby with the man within five years of meeting him. If five years then passed and y'all are serious about things, you should know by now if this is the person you really want to be with or not. Plain and simple. This guy hit it on the head. He said, so, when was the last time you hung out with somebody? And she said that. And you don't and you don't see nothing wrong with it. you ain't gonna stop hanging out with your ex. I ain't got time for the games. That ain't nothing but a stress and headache waiting to happen. So this man was smart. If his story is true, and I'm not saying it's not, but if this story is true, this man is smart. I would have done the same fucking thing. I don't have time for the game. Look, are we gonna do this or we or not? If not, fine. I finna move on, gone by my business. I'm going to get with a woman that wants me. That's it. Plain and simple. He spotted a red flag and he said bye.